Welcome back. Of course, we continue to talk about coronavirus, and as we wrap up what happened over the weekend, we bring back our nine health medical expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. Uh, first, let's talk about what is happening, because obviously so much talk surrounding vaccine. Where do we stand uh, presently with vaccine? Well, today was a big day, Tom, because it was actually the first clinical trial of a vaccine in a human being. So now we're still a few months out from actually having a vaccine that we can give to the general population, but very promising because the first time a vaccine has been tested in a human being. If they are successful with this, how fast does that take? Is it still going to be three, four, five, six, eight months? How long does it take? It'll be several months at the earliest. So before we were talking a year, a year and a half, now we're saying several months. So the timeline has shortened just a little bit because we got into trials earlier than we expected. But still, to set our expectations, it's not coming out in the next few weeks. Let's talk about social distancing. Obviously, you and I are yeah. uh, you know, experiencing it here. It's something everyone is, I think, learning a lot about. Uh, I myself was very impressed with what I saw over this weekend. Obviously, you do see pictures of restaurants and bars and crowded places that do exist. But generally, most people I knew were trying to maintain social distance. Many people were trying to, if not quarantine, at least control their own environment. Yeah, and as you pointed out, it's a very unnatural thing to expect people to do because by definition, human beings want to interact with one yeah. another and want to be close to one another. So I really commend our community for actively making an effort. And yes, we still have a little ways to go because there were those crowded places. This morning, the mayor announced that you know bars and restaurants are going to be closed, so that's certainly going to help aid the efforts with social distancing, but I think we're really getting a good start on it. We need to keep working at it. And that's maybe the problem for many people as they look at this and see yeah. how long this is going to take. We're talking about CDC guidelines, talking about many things lasting at least eight weeks, and people are going to have to get used to this. At the earliest, I would say. And I think eight weeks doesn't mean the virus is going to be gone in eight weeks. I think what it means is that we're going to be out of this kind of a high intensity zone where we really have to implement these measures aggressively. But this virus could be around till the end of the year, probably will be around maybe even next year. So this needs to become a part of our lives and we need to learn how to embrace it. The weekend was one thing. Now we're on a Monday. People are going back to work, whether that means working from home, but now all of a sudden you have kids are home from yeah, school. Yeah. Uh, today the state with some guidelines as far as if people are going to start either trying to homeschool as groups or maybe uh, do some daycare for other people in their neighborhood. Yeah, so the CDPHE did release some guidelines today and they said if you are going to aggregate in groups, it needs to be small groups with big spaces. So the kids sitting at least six to eight feet apart. And if you're not able to do that, then it's probably better to avoid those play dates because again, kids could be carriers for this virus. And one of the reasons since we've closed the school is to have social distancing with the kids too. So you don't want to be recreating that situation. Quick thought on our minds because this is going to become a bit of a mental test for many people. It's nice right now. Maybe get outside. I love that idea. Yes, I would encourage you to take a walk every single day. Not only is it good for your physical health getting out of the house, it's also good for your mental health with all the anxiety surrounding this social distancing piece. Just a few things to keep in mind though as you're walking outside. Be sure not to come into close contact with anyone outside your family. Be sure not to touch any surfaces like park benches or railings, you know, things where the virus could certainly be stuck and they don't get cleaned regularly. But besides that, nice weather, beautiful Colorado, it's a yeah. good idea. Try to be mindful 24-7. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Dr. Coley, we always appreciate your time. Thanks. Thank you, Tom.